Uh, so guys, uh, today is my 10th day on my 10th tutorial and I'm so happy to be back here. Like you can see, uh, my Unreal Engine is open and if you can lead here, this is what we did yesterday. Yesterday I showed you how to uh, <coughs> uh download a little agent how to install a new agent um and how to export the character from the epic game to uh a little agent so today you can just grab your cup of coffee and i want to continue today with the today's tutorial uh this is your first time uh, using Unreal Engine. If you are an expert, then you don't need this tutorial. But I'm just trying to go deep because I know uh, there are so many people who are like me who are want to start learning, and they are looking for the way for the YouTube where they can just learn those things in details. So I'm so happy to be back here and to show you what we can do next here so uh like you can see this is my epic game and i showed you where you have you can come here to the market and this is where you can get all the things that you need to have on your unreal agent so if you like something like you have those things you can uh excuse me uh you can the, uh, click this let me show you how you can buy it like i like this background here so i will just click it now this is not to be used with unreal agent so like i like this one here and if this project is free it will ask you here like it's free so i already have this project so i wanted to show you a new project like the one so let's say like i'm looking for uh what can we look let's look what we have here like we like this background here so i click this background here this is what we have and then you like it so you have to check uh who is supported agent fashion so there are so many agent fashion yesterday i have a, a discussion with people who have been telling me that um yeah i was trying to lie about the unreal agent and i was saying i i'm also new to unreal agent and i'm trying to show you guys the things that I already learned. I'm not, uh, I've not been using Unreal for like 10 years or so, but I have enough experience right now with Unreal Agent. So uh, what we are using right now, I only have Unreal Agent from uh, 4.25 to and 4.24. So like you can see here in the marketplace, I want to come back. We had this background that we say that it uh, we like it so let's check where this background went now we can also check for this one we just need uh, an example and what we are going to look is which supported agent will be supported by this only so this one is only for unreal agent 4.25 so if you have a new agent like 4.4 uh, uh, it will not open so you have to be cautious before you start downloading something, whether they, so the, the things you are looking for, they, are, they fit on your um, Unreal Engine. So um, now you, if you need to buy this one, you just click here, buy, or you can add it to cart, and then you can buy it later and I'll you pay it later. For some free products, if I click here, like I need some free products, I can check for what is free here like I can check this one is free and what I'll go, I'm going to do is that um, you can see here it's, it's said to be free so I can check here like this background here and I can click here and this one is also supposed by uh, an agent 4.2 and then I say uh, I want to use this project and this project now will be downloaded and will be saved on my library here. Uh, let me show you what uh, I'm trying to show you because I've 
look for so many things on my market because every time when I'm free, I try to check for things that I can, I will need for future. So it will be saved like one of those projects here. And now what you can do is that you can uh, click here and it will ask you where you want to open it. Like this is the things that you, when you are starting to, and you open your little engine like this, um, your Unreal Engine will ask you to hear which pro, uh, how to save your uh, project and the name you give. This is a project which I have saved on my Unreal Engine that um, I can open them direct without starting this process again. So I want to show this one for a quick. It's not going to take long. And you can check for my yesterday video i went deep on how to open a new project and how to get started so you come here and then you say next and now you say you if you want a blank or a virtual uh, virtual production then you can see next and here what the name you like here it will appear where i showed you like this is the name that will appear here so you can click where to save it so i don't want to save anything right now so now we have uh downloaded our project from uh epic game and you have now we have a, a background how do we open it on unreal engine so i'll come back here on unreal engine and like you can see here down i have this sequence if you are using unreal engine for the first time this sequence will not be there you have to come like if i can delete this one i can delete it and i need a sequence I will have to, what I do first, and this is what I showed you. Those, not too many people show you those things. So I can check what I have here. And then I can, I, I always like click, I, I come here to add, I go to new folder. And I like this one cinematic because what I need to make is a cinematic film. See, and if you are, familiar with unreal engine and you think what i'm doing right now is not for you please it's not fair when you come to my video and you start disliking them i spend my time to come and teach you what i think so many people need to learn so uh sometimes you are because there are so many people who yesterday have a discussion with some guys i think yeah maybe they are good with unreal engine but I'm here for those people who they want to learn a little aging and this is what I do. So I have shown you like um hey cinematic I came here, I added a new folder, I like to cinematic. So what I do, I come here to this. If you look here or above there's blueprint, then this is cinematic. Sometime if this one is like this one, this cinematic are uh, not uh, it is already there. So sometime it will be hided if you are a little aging is not big enough so you just click and you say you want to add a new add level sequence so you add like this one so you have now what this folder that you added here it will appear here so if you double click here to ask you new level sequence so i i always say this name to master and then i save this folder so it will open to me this one of the sequence direct if it doesn't open sometime it will open this sequence like this and it will be let me show you it will be so big like that way so if you don't want to use this like this when what i do is that i put my mouse there i drag it and i come and i press it there here it is good to work with it so then i go back and go to my cinematic folder and you see you have your master here so i click light i go to animation and on animation i add level sequence so I call this so one shoot one. You can edit different kind of uh, shoot. This one I can show you later, but uh, this the process for me is so complicated at the moment. So I'm trying to master what I know. And I think this is also easy for you when you are a beginner. So then I come back to the sequence. I go here, it is light and uh, track. Then I add shoot track. And now you have this yellow line here. And here on the shoot track, I click there, then I have my shoot one. I can click there and add them. So you have this one getting open there. So what you can do next 
okay that you need to double click this one then you open so here if you i go back like this way this is masters here it will only appear master so if you double click now you it will show you that on oh, you are on the shoot one so this is where you can do your animation so what i do is that i come back now i want to import my background i check whether i have a background here already so uh like i have this one so i came here to map then i click map and now this one will be directly loaded to my uh unreal agent so sometime if it is the first time it might take some time so for the time being you can just grab a cup of coffee and we wait i hope it's not going to take long time so i'm also expecting not to take a long time and if it does i will when i'm editing my video how to delete this part so it asked me so i say don't save because i need a new project uh out of memory video card so that's what happens sometimes my computer that's a, uh it will automatically this file cannot be loaded on your uh unreal agent but that's not a problem i'll show you what you're going to do uh, and i said again if you need to use unreal agent you need a very good computer because of the graphics so this is my first video that's what i want to open because if you don't have a good computer you will still be experiencing those problems like for the graphic card and whatever so um let's see just give it like yeah two seconds it will be done And if you are watching this video and you have not subscribed, please subscribe to support me. I'll be I appreciate your subscription. So start BADOS, I go to modify, so I go to map. And I can take like this one. So this is what I opened. It's a bit dark. If I don't like that one, I can click here. Yeah, like this one look a bit good. You can see everything clear. So now we have our um, background. This is you just need to come here. You whatever you downloaded on the Epic Games, and you go to like if I go back, I came here to Horways. You can check here. You need to just go to the maps, and on the map you can double click. You need to check where those things like on the map. If you click this on example one, two, and three, if I want to check like if I click this one here. This is the same, so let's see. Exactly. So you see now this one is another kai another it's almost the same, but it look they a bit different. So so I like it. It look nice inside. You can try to zoom it outside and you see how it look from outside. That's how it look now if you see whatever i'm doing here is like my background is a bit uh slanted if i go inside if i put like this when i go inside you observe something it's like it's a bit uh i'm looking it from on top that's the problem what i do to solve those problem i'll show you right now is that i come here and i like that i want a camera This one I just tried one day and uh, it worked for me good. So if for you it doesn't work good. And then here, it my camera will appear here. Like you can see here, is, if I click here, it will show me what is selected. My camera is normal selected. So I come back and I click my camera and I click there. And then I say pilot the camera. Now, if I put this one a bit down and I go inside. How to check where inside is sometime you have to check now you can see now that you can be able to view your um 
I wanted to do something. So if this one appear there and you don't need, you can click G and you remove everything. And then you click E to move it down. You click Q to move it side. You click R D to move it other side. A Q is to move it up. E is to move it down. A is to move it uh, on your uh, left uh, light side and D is to move it on your left side. So now you have your project here. Like you can now see now you can be able to see everything good, not in a slanted way. So I can be able to rotate everything like that. But now there's something that is missing. Now this is a project that I have here and maybe I would like to animate my character inside. So what do I do? I go back here. And yesterday I had some character that I downloaded. Uh, this one, this one here. So I got character. You can shake on map is not there. I go to Grobo and spider webs. Let me see what is inside. No, that is not there. Here mouth. Exact. So I wanted shake. So this one is the character they are here. So if I need one of those character, I take just this character and I drag it here. This one I don't need it there. So what I do. Is that I come. I say pivot. Now that one was a long way. So I can come here to edit and say undo. Exactly. So I do if it happen like that one, you can just say undo it. Now you can come and check where you are, but I don't need to see this one here. So what I'll do is uh, I can light here camera. Camera, then I click camera and I say pilot. So my this the screen here will be removed. That's the shortcut that I usually use to work for me good. So now I have my character here, but I don't want to see her there. So I can move her a bit and a bit up. And let me delete this character there. So you can click G and then you can double click again. Now I want to double click. So select the character and this is not fair because you cannot delete this character. So edit and delete. Mm. So let's see what is going to happen. So that it. So I want to go back to here. Exactly. So I wanted to this one. I say stop piloting, and then I can say like yeah, pilot again. So I'm looking for a good place. So I wanted to put this character here. Exactly. That's what I wanted. And now I can click uh, E. And I rotate this character to look on the front. 
so now from there you just need to go back to your sequence uh with because you open a new folder we need to repeat the same thing like we did to make the same folder because this one a uh, cinematic uh, so we have that one so we can go back we come here we say we want add sequence go to cinematic go to master that's what we hint save and go back to content browser go to uh, your cinematic folder go to animation level sequence then light shoot one then go back to your sequence come to track light shoot one and then here by shoot one add shoot one there and then you can double click the shoot one then you go to track and when you click your character you select your character you can go back to track and here add to are actor to sequences so you click there and now you have these two things you have animation and transform so by animation this is where you can meet your character like you can come here and say you want your character to um i'm looking for the best one like cast so let's see what our character will do if you move you see your character is trying to cast we can come here where it adds and i'll show you what you're going to do so um a minute this is why I also say if you need to use Unreal Engine, you need a good computer. There's no any law like now my computer just cross an engine automatic. That's the problem when you experience if your computer is not good. Ah, sometimes it's so ah, stressing, but with the resources, guys, I'm trying to show you what we can do and learn something together. So I'll just back, back, and I open this here. Open. Now I think that I'm going to repeat everything that I did. Yes. So cross that one and now we need to go back. We can repeat those pluses so quick. So we ha have your cinematic. So you like you can see everything disappeared. So I'll come back here. I say add level. Go to cinematic. Light here master. Save that. Go back. No, I did something wrong. Something doing. Okay. Great character. Uh, everything get deleted. Oh. Content browser. A widow, and then I can come and add sequence recorder. And I come back here and I say add level. Then I come back here, I add master save yes and then it will be added automatic so when i come here to my master folder you can come here to animation and level sequence then this one is what i load shoot one shoot zero one and now i go back and i come here to my start bundle and then this uh, let me check where i took this one maps and i think i took this one here and then don't save now this is what yeah the same like this is what we had uh then i can come back here go back and go to this character this is what i need 
and I drag this character and I put her here. Then I come back to sequence and like you can see here there's something that is missing because we did not when we uh let me see we have everything there uh-huh let me see what here So this one I can delete it and then I come here I say I need to add sequence master save yes exactly then it's it come back so I come back here I can select my character I can track then add my character to track then I have this animation and I want to rotate this character that she can look to me And now if you look my character is slanted this is what i don't like so what i i told you that i came here i can light here camera to check whether there's a camera here no there's no if there's no then i come here and i light i want a camera and i take this one camera actor so whatever will happen is that i'll, I'll click and i say pilot and then it open to me there and then i can move this one down I want to check where uh, my character is there now you can see that now you can see your character good so I can put her there I click her then I come to animation and the first animation like I want to say start targeting then add there I say I want to add the second animation and then I say targeting and then I can play to see whether that is what so I can come here and play so pray And you see now your character is animated so that's why you add the back cloud on your unreal agent um so sorry because of those problems that you had and i hope you learned something so if you learn something i'm going out to show you how you can be able to animate two characters so keep in touch and if you have any question please you can comment below if you think that you can also help me to improve my channel please comment below if you dislike my video please dislike and comment below to tell me what i can improve on my video don't just dislike my video and you don't tell me why i'm doing this one guy to show you how to get good animation so i'm so happy for you watching this video and i hope you learned something so for now i would like to say goodbye and have a nice day